Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another photo piece tutorial. Before I start the video, I want to say that I'm not going to be uploading as much as I have been. Uh, I just have so much going on, so I'm going to try uploading like three times a week because there's just a lot of stuff going on, so I hope you guys understand. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make arrows for your thumbnails or whatever you want to do super easily. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is have your project open. You wanna go over to your pen tool over here. So just go ahead and click on that. Go up to fill, make sure to choose your color up here, whatever color you want. I'm just gonna go with red because it's like a classic clickbait arrow. And for the stroke, just have it transparent. Now you don't have to mess with anything else. All you gotta do is start somewhere. So just left click somewhere and then hold left click like somewhere over here and kind of drag it, drag your mouse until it makes like a curve shape. And then go up above this line, like a little bit up here, hold left click, drag it. And you can see it kind of makes the arrow. So you might need to redo this a few times if it doesn't look good. So just hit control Z to do that. So let's try it again. So make like a little hump and then make another one. There we go. It's looking better. Now we can just get off of that layer. We're going to make a new layer. So just click the new layer button down here and I'm going to draw like a triangle. And if you hold shift, it'll make a straight line. So straight line like that. That was me holding shift. If I hold shift, it'll make the rest of the arrow for me. There we go. It's both together now, but we're going to have to merge them. So hold control, click both of those layers, right click on one of them and click merge layers. Now you can see the layer is one. Now what you want to do is double click on this layer and I'm going to make this look a little bit better. So go to inner glow, change the blend mode to color dodge, turn the color to white and adjust the spread and size a little bit. We'll come back to this in a second. Go ahead and add a gradient overlay, but change the colors from like a darker red to a lighter red. So you can see it has more detail to it and that inner glow comes in and makes it look really nice. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.